it. Hey there! Today we'll have a look at a pen by Pelican. And this is a new special edition. Uh, so this, this pen, they will stop producing it. Uh, and this is an M800 and this is the Burnt Orange. And this pen was sent to me, I'm just opening the box. Uh, this pen was sent to me by Jos Appelbaum from Appelbaum Pennen. And if you really like it after this review, go to my website, sbrebrown.com, click their banner, Appelbaum Pennen, and you'll get 10% discount, discount, for example, off of this pen. So here we have this fake leather wrap. Uh, yeah, that's fake. Uh, that Pelican does, and here you have your pen. The M800, it's a nice model, been around for a while, and I, I think it's a, it's a really nice size. On the large size, but not really oversized, so a very nice usable pen size. I'm going to cover the past the pen, I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and I'll do a writing sample. Okay, let's start at the finial here, you get that really nice little pelican with the, uh, the, the the mother pelican feeding the baby and then we have of course the stylized pelican bill and head on the clip the nice black uh, cap and then the, the, the burnt orange body which is definitely interesting and then you have the piston turning knob, it's a piston filled pen so you draw up ink directly from the bottle, will not take cartridges uh, and here we have the nib. Pelican makes pretty large nibs, and by that I don't necessarily mean really fat in the line they draw, but just big nibs. And this is an 18K, uh, it says 18C uh, 750 for the gold content, and EF for extra fine, uh, and uh, it's a two-tone nib. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, it's, uh, I always, I've always found these nibs to be really pretty. Uh, I got an extra fine because I wanted to try an extra fine nib because a lot of people have asked me whether the rumors are true that uh, Pelican nibs are, are run on the broad side. So uh, when Yost offered to lend me this pen for review purposes, I, I thought I would go for a very fine nib to, to see if, if that's really the case. And now what you can see, uh, of course I'm known for my use of broad nibs and they, they have this really big blob of tipping at the end. And what you can see in this nib is that there really is a little tipping and it points down a little bit. Um, but it is in fact a very, uh, here is a, uh, thank you, just handed to me is a triple broad um, on a pelican on the, well you can see which is which I guess, triple broad and an extra fine. You can see the difference in tipping, but also slightly in the shape of the tipping. And the extra fine on the left here, it, it points down just a little bit. I'm going to cap these so that I don't forget which cap goes with which pen. Um, and although it, it runs indeed quite fine, I would say this is more of a nice fine nib than it is a really ultra extra super fine nib. So if that's what you're looking for, Maybe Pelican is not the brand you should check out. Uh, of course, Japanese pens come to mind, but um, that's pretty much it. Okay, um, nib feed, as you may or may not know, these nibs screw out, so you can also get another nib. They're pretty expensive, um, but you can always switch out nibs, or if you already own a medium, you can always buy a fine and swap them around from another M800 model. M1000 doesn't fit, that's bigger. The standard section that we get on, on Pelican pens and that you may have seen before and then the threads. Uh, and the orange, well, it's orange, as you can see, it's definitely a, a nice burnt orange. Uh, the pen has, a, as I said, a decent size, I can definitely use it very comfortably unposted. But for those of you who really like posting the pens, you can do that, it gets a bit bigger because it doesn't really post very deeply. Uh, but it's still, I would say, very usable. Okay. Now, Pelican has been launching quite a couple of these uh, special edition or limited edition pens uh, in the M800 range. There was that, that Tortoise at some point. And not too long ago was the, was the uh, Stresemann. Uh, and the Stresemann was actually uh, cellulose acetate and this one is, is all resin. It's also a bit more expensive than the Stresemann is. Uh, but it is a different type of, of material. Uh, now, I'm not saying that, that resin is, is necessarily such a wonderful material that it has to be an insane amount more expensive, but it is a bit more expensive than the, the Stresa model, and it is not striated. Okay, Let's start with some things that I like about the pen. 
as I said, that's not particular to this uh, incarnation of the M800, but I do think the M800 is a really nice size. Big, but very usable. I also love the Pelican nibs. Uh, this is the first time... No, this is not the first time I've used an extra fine. I have used an extra fine, but that's a vintage nib. And even in the modern nibs, they come out really nicely. Uh, they write out of the box, at least this one did, and I'm very happy to generalize because I do think the quality control of Pelican is quite high. So it writes well out of the box, it is a nice fine line, and even though it is very fine, I didn't find it scratchy. I was afraid these might be scratchy, but they are very well tuned in that regard. So I like that. I like the size, I like the ink capacity, as I said, piston filler, so it draws up ink directly into the barrel, holds a very decent amount of ink. Uh, I haven't measured it, but I know from experience that even a triple broad will take a while to run out, so it must hold a, a, a good amount. Um, and what I like is the, the orange is actually pretty cool, I think. For some reason, I, I find it, it gives this pen a slightly vintage look. And that's definitely not for everyone, I think. This orange is, well, it's always hard to capture that in video too. I don't know if this really comes across well. It reminds me a little bit of some of the Parker Jewel Folds, although that I think is a little brighter. Uh, these are slightly darker, uh, but, uh, and again, something is handed to me. Thanks again. Uh, here we have a Parker Jewel Fold. This is the Ackermann uh, Special Edition Jewel Fold. And here we have the, the Pelican. And as you can see, the, they are close, and maybe on the video, it was, depends on your monitor too and all that, but and I, I think this is, I had it in mind as a little bit brighter, I actually think this is a little lighter, but yeah, unless you can really see this in real life, I don't know if the camera or the computer monitors will really do this justice. Okay, um, what else did I want to say about this? I like the looks, gold trims, I think are always fun, black and gold works well together, and the gold and orange, or gold and orange works well together. I think it's very neat. Uh, it is, uh, let's go into some things that are not so nice. It is a more expensive pen. 375? He asked. 375? Oh. I thought so. Uh, we're going to check that. As you see, my lovely assistant is, uh, is very busy today with handing me all kinds of stuff because I forget. Um, so it is not a cheap pen. On the other hand, special edition, piston filler, gold nib, not necessarily in that order. Like it or not, but it will contribute to the 495. price. Four ninety-five. All right, four ninety-five. So it is definitely a more expensive pen, and um, and that's the way it is. It is also the one model below the flagship pen of the brand, so uh, <laughs> it's the way it is. Uh, these types of pens are not are not extremely cheap. Okay, things I don't like so much about it, and um, there is only one thing that I can really comment on that I, I found a negative and that is there is no ink window and that is a bit of a problem uh, with earlier uh, versions of the M800 for example this is that uh, tortoise th there's no ink window here either but if you hold this up to the light and it's very difficult to, to show you that here because the light is coming from that side but um, if I hold this up to the light I can look through it because these striations have clear parts in between them dark but clear so you can see how much ink you have left uh, with this pen that is not possible so it's really bright out and even though I hold it directly into the light uh, I can't look through it at all which means that I have no idea how much ink is left in the pen and that may not sound like a big deal but if you are on the road taking this to work to a meeting to school to a lecture or whatever uh, if you have no idea how much ink is left that can be a problem so for me uh, I do actually find that to be an issue with this pen um, so yeah the price is high you have no ink window apart from that it's a really nice writer and I would definitely recommend it okay having said that this pen will go back to Apple uh, so you could probably own that if you buy it and you just happen to get this pen but no guarantees and if you want to buy it there go to my website sbrebrown.com and click the Applebaum banner and you'll get a 10% discount on whatever you buy except for Mont Blanc because they don't allow that uh, but 10% discount is pretty nice non-EU customers uh, don't pay VAT either so that could actually be attractive for you 
If you want to have measurements of the pen, I'm not going to give them to you, at least not here. Go to my website, find the post for this pen, and I will list them there. That way the videos get a little bit less static. And on the website will also be high resolution pictures of the pen and the writing sample I've done. Alright? Yoast, thanks a lot for lending this pen to me. Uh, it's coming right back at you. Uh, I hope this was useful so far. Let's do a writing sample. And I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with the Pelican. Souverain, which I'm not going to write down. Uh, we have the M800 Burnt Orange. Oops. The nib is extra fine and the ink is ST Dupont Blue. The paper is Clairefontaine. Let's do some writing. As always with these types of nibs, bear in mind that the camera, typically the mic amplifies the noise, so it sounds very scratchy. It's not, but being such a fine nib, uh, there is definitely some feedback. It's, I still think this is actually a quite pleasant nib to use, though. Uh, do some fast writing. And there you go. Keeps up very well. As to wetness, well, it's a finer nib. But even so, it's quite well-tuned and makes for a nice, wet patch. Now we have a little bit of line variation in applying some pressure, but this is not an ultra springy nib. I think the M1000 nibs are a little bit springier than the M800 nibs, so don't expect to get a flex nib out of this, because it is not a flex nib by a long shot. Um, there may be a little bit of line variation you can squeeze out, but I wouldn't expect that much. Um, now for those of you who like reverse writing, it's possible, and it's actually quite smooth. But this already being an extra fine, you typically do that to make the nib finer. I don't think this really adds that much to the whole writing process. So, there you have it. M800 in burnt orange. Uh, Applebaum, Pennon, Yoast, thanks a lot for lending this pen to me. It's coming back to you right now. Guys, I hope this was useful, and uh, I'll gladly see you later.